do it, something we'll talk about. Good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to travel here for about four hours from Birmingham, which is quite a different country to you. And, uh, but I'm very happy to be in on time. Uh, today we are celebrating this workshop. But the discussion started, this was especially for the small and startup organization. 2012, February 2012, when we wrote to the Charity Commission at that time about the need of putting some regulation for young organizations who are working in conflict zones. So when we work with government and then to change something, it takes time. Not just when we go to our organization, sit down and make a decision. So from 2012, now we are here in 2015. Then we put it again during the select committee discussion December last year to the Lord the Chairman who picked it up. Because we said, how can we work in an area like in Somalia, certain areas which have got a prescribed group there, or in Syria, or in different countries, without being labeled or being prescribed as well. And thanks for the select committee who put the recommendation which will become today the, uh, our, our workshop, which is one is here today, and the second one on the 14th in, on, in Manchester. If you would like to attend the Manchester one, you must welcome as well. So we celebrate our partnership with the Charity Commission and because there is a need to address and actually there is an urge inside the hearts of all these growing organizations, especially Somali and Syrians and the diaspora organization which is coming, mushrooming in a very big number and actually they want to do uh, good work, which uh, we don't want to question their intention, but we have tried to regulate their actually uh, uh, performance. Uh, it's good to be emotionally excited by the refugees' need, but it's not good enough when you deliver this in action. Convoys, which you have been seeing and watching with the Zinkali, or went to Syria a few years ago, was very, very dangerous to do it without regulation. Actually, sending aid material without checking it, especially if it's donated to you, like trucks. I learned this 30 years ago when we started the Islamic Relief. You have to check every item on the lorry or the container before sending it there. You don't know what's, what's there when it's received on the other end. Visiting these conflict zones, you don't know who is watching you. It's one of the areas which I did not visit up to now, is to cross the border of Syria-Turkey, or Turkey-Syria. Because from the experience in Afghanistan, people who come from Afghanistan, they used to be humanitarian worker when they came back, the political scene changed, and they became the returnees of, from Afghanistan, and they're actually big question marked by their own governments. Don't ever cross a country in conflict without a visa. This is, I remember this from a discussion in one of the anchor organizations with the Egyptian authority, for Syria as well. One of the anchors said that we sent a convoy and we entered there. And one of the security or intelligence was in the room in the presidential palace, I told him, my son, Going to a country without a permission is a terrorist eh, offense. Or, uh, uh, in some countries. Some, yeah. no, it, uh, and that's what he told me okay. in, in this country. Could be seen as yeah. actually part of, the, of, of, of terrorist activities. Because you are entering a country without a permission. Okay? If you are actually registered there, if you are, sometimes when we are young and there is, we do it because we are actually very, very, yeah, with good intention. But good intention is not good enough when we deliver aid or we make a humanitarian response or development response. This is my uh, little experience. I don't want to take much of the time. The second thing, as Muslim Czechs Forum, we celebrate. These two weeks are the weeks of celebrations. The celebrities are here. You are the celebrities. And the celebrities always celebrate the celebrations. Or they make the celebration to celebrate it because they are celebrities. 
You know, my English is not Shakespearean English. <laughs> but I will teach you my language. Which I'm writing my own dictionary now. These two weeks, we have got two workshops with the charity commission. She will enjoy a very, very, very good relationship with them. Next, uh, uh, 7 and 14. Also this weekend in, in London with the ICRC with another workshop on the 10th and the 11th. If you would like to come back again, I will entertain you because I can sing and I can do a lot of things on the stage. But today, actually, as you are the celebrities, the celebrities, actually, it's very, very important to understand the regulation and we want to be regulated. And this was our ask in uh, ECOSOC meeting in June uh, in uh, Geneva this year with uh, in a counter-terrorism meeting, we want to be regulated. We don't want to be seen as doing something wrong without being regulated. So put the regulation as much as you want at the Charity Commission and we need to follow it. But we need to discuss it before the regulation being put on the table because we are the practitioners and the Charity Commission is the regulator. So the partnership between the practitioners and the regulators is very important. Thank you very much.